Here we are now on episode 159 now. And good morning to you, wherever you may be watching around this great country of ours. And on Sydney's northern beaches, this is Barry and Rover here with you for another edition of the show. Thank you for joining us here today. Well, we've got a fan, fantastic show for you today. We're going to cook up a storm. And joining me now in the studio, good morning, Rosa. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. And thanks once again for um, logging in to see Barry's video. We do really appreciate it. As I always say, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. And um, leave a comment down below if you do have any questions for Mary. Okay, well, last week we talked about respecting ambulance officers and staff when you visit a hospital. Okay, we're also going to touch on um, being honest with the doctors at the Bale Medical Center now. Honesty is the key here, guys. So if you go to the doctor, you've got to have a good reason. And we're going to touch a bit more on that this morning and open the show with that. And here's Rona now with her opening segments on this, being honest. Yeah, being honest is a very, very important thing to have. And it's a secret to building good relationship with each other. Um, it, 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 it is very, very important. We cannot, cannot stress that enough. I know that Barry has got a lot to say on that as well. Okay. If you don't need, I have a good reason for going to the doctors or hospital. Don't go there, guys, and waste the doctor's time. And the same with the emergency departments and the ambulance officers. Here's my offside. That's correct. If you don't have any reason to go to the hospital, please don't, because you are wasting time. There are people that are generally sick. That means the services of the ambulance, the services of doctors, and bed. Some, you know. So please, 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 do not waste their time. Do not. If you are not sick, as simple as that, do not call, do not make your way to the hospital and use the bed that would have been used for someone else. So it's like if you go, oh, the boy who cried wolf, people are not going to believe you the next time around. And if you call for help, the ambulance won't come. Here's my upside. That's correct. I, I totally agree with what Barry is saying. We cannot, cannot, cannot emphasize that. So, when you arrive at the medical center, guys, be prepared. Here's my upside. That's correct. Be prepared. Have all your information and necessary um documents that would support what you need to tell your doctor. It makes it a lot more easier for yourself and for the doctors and nurses. So please be prepared and be ready to answer every question and give honest answers. And have any questions you may have ready for your attending doctor. It Here's my answer. That's correct. If you do have any questions, that's what really you For example, if you feel like you've developed a certain pain in some part of your body before you've met your doctor, you can have that discussion with them. If you've seen any changes in your health, please write it down and you can ask your doctor questions regarding that. Okay. And like, like we also said last week on the program, please do not argue with people. That includes the doctors at the Vale Medical Center. 
He's more of That's correct. Don't argue. Argument it's not necessary. Barry Ruth would always go, please don't go whoo pa. Like that's not what we are looking for. And don't go. <laughs> don't go bang. Because you will be banned from the medical centre. There is a sign outside the doctor's office. Give my oxide. That's correct. And they have zero tolerance for abuse, physical abuse. You will be banned from the doctor, from the hospital, or from the clinic. So please, if you have any questions, ask them. Don't be rude. We don't like rude people. So no one also likes rude people. So don't be rude. Don't be aggressive. So if you are upset about what the doctor has said, Please address your problems to the attending doctor in a nice, calm, polite manner. Here's my off time. That's correct. If you're upset or not happy, you can let them know in a calm way. And that's the only way they can actually listen to you and resolve whatever issues you have. Being aggressive, no one is going to listen to you because you're already rude, you're already upset, you're already swearing. So please, when you are upset, calm down and explain how you feel to them and they'll be more than happy to solve it for you. Okay, because I was uh, concerned about some drugs that were upsetting my stomach. Now, when the doctor came last Monday before Australia Day, I said, look, these drugs have upset my stomach in my oxygen. That's correct. If you can check last week's videos that Barry uploaded, he talked about his experiences when he went to the doctors. You can also watch that video and learn some key things in there as well. So, so now it's time to break out on committing to the doctor's appointment. We did a video on this before. If you make an appointment, please commit to that. Here's my oxygen. That's correct. So if you make an appointment, Please commit to the appointment. If you know that you cannot make it, give them a call to let them know and they can rebook it for you. If you are running late, it is very important to call them and let them know you are running late so they know you are coming. It is very fair and, and it is very important to do that. Don't be rude by not calling and showing up or not organizing an appointment prior to the appointment date. Well, we're going to take a break. Now and come back, so stay tuned, everybody. <laughs>